We'll be going over the installation of Blender on three different operating systems, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Since obviously all three probably don't pertain to you as a user, you can use this bottom bar down here to skip to different points in the video for your operating system. The timestamps for these different parts will be listed right over here. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the Windows installation. In order to install Blender, we first need to open up our web browser of choice. In my case, I'll be using Google Chrome, so I'll go ahead and open that up on my computer here. From here, I'll navigate to blender.org, which is the official website of the Blender Foundation. On this site, there's all sorts of cool information about Blender and what the project is, uh, but we're really just interested in downloading it. So we'll come up to the Downloads tab up top here and click that. And you can see right in the middle of our screen, we have a nice download Blender button and we'll click that and the download begins down in our bar here. So I'll click keep because obviously this is not a suspicious file, it's Blender. Um, and we'll wait for this to download. It shouldn't take too terribly long, it's only an 80 megabyte file, but it will definitely take some time. Once the installer is done downloading, we can go ahead and run it. While this is loading, I'm also going to exit out of the Chrome window because we won't be needing that anymore. All right, so the installer has started up, so we'll just click Next. We'll accept the terms in the license agreement, click Next. Again, we don't really need to change anything here, so we'll click Next once again, and we'll click Install. Wasn't that easy. Windows may prompt you to actually, you know, confirm that you are installing this software and it's not just like a robot, so just click Yes, and it should start installing. And once it finishes the install, you can see that the setup wizard has completed, so we can click Finish, and you can see that it automatically added a Blender icon to our desktop. So I'll move that over with all of my other graphics softwares over here, and we can go ahead and open it up to make sure it works. There we go. We have successfully installed Blender. From here, you can skip through this video to the new timestamp displayed on the screen, so you don't have to watch the other installations. In order to install Blender on a Mac, we first have to open up our web browser of choice. In my case, I'll be using Google Chrome. I'll navigate to Blender.org. Blender.org is the official website of the Blender Foundation. On this website, there's a bunch of cool information about Blender and what it is, uh, but we're just really interested in downloading it. So we'll come up to the top here and head over to the Download tab. In the middle of our screen here, you can see we have a bright green Download Blender button, and upon clicking this, we can initiate the download for Blender. It will take a little bit to download, but hopefully not too long. Once it's done, we can open the .dmg file and exit out of our web browser because we won't be needing it anymore. Once this window pops up, all we have to do is drag the Blender folder into our Applications folder like so. Within a few seconds, the file begins to copy and we can exit out of the other window. After the file's done copying over, we can eject the Blender disk image file. From here, we can open up our Finder head to our Applications section, and you can see here that I now have a Blender folder in my Applications section. From here, we can open up Blender, and then we can exit out of the Finder window because we won't be needing that anymore. Your Mac may try to verify the application to make sure you're being safe, but Blender is a pretty safe application, so we can just click Open once this window pops up here. And, just like that, we now have Blender installed. So, you can now skip to the new timestamp displayed on the screen. That way you won't have to watch through the other Blender installations. We'll be covering two different ways to install Blender on Linux, or more specifically, Ubuntu. We'll first install it through the Ubuntu Software Center, and then we'll install it through the Ubuntu Terminal. To install it through the Ubuntu Software Center, we'll first need to open up the Ubuntu Software Center. Once it's open, we can press the search button in the upper right, and in the search bar, we'll type Blender. A few options come up from our search, but we'll click the last one, the one with the five star rating. From here, we'll click install, and just like that, Blender begins to install. This may take a second, but hopefully not too long. Once the installation is completed, we can click launch up at the top. Give it a few seconds, and you can now see that we have successfully installed Blender. Next, let's install Blender from the Ubuntu terminal. We'll kick things off with this installation by opening up the Ubuntu terminal because that's kind of an important part of this installation. Once it's open, in the command line we can type the following command, sudo apt install blender. When you press enter, it'll prompt you for a password because you're using the sudo command, but after you enter your password, it'll begin to install. 
Give it a few seconds here and you can see that Blender has now finished installing. So now if we enter the command Blender in our terminal and press enter, Blender will open. It'll take a few seconds, but after a little bit, you can see that Blender has successfully opened. Congratulations! Now that you have Blender installed, you're officially considered a Blender user. So let's go ahead and get learning how to use this software.